Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac. So let's just get down to it. On the top left hand side of your Mac, you will see an app logo. Here's that logo. Now in older Mac OS, you would go up to App Store in order to make any update. However, if you guys are up to almost date, <laughs> you guys will see every update in system preferences. So before App Store, okay, so if you guys are way back in another Mac OS, then go to your App Store. If you guys are almost up to date, then system preferences. So let's just go right into system preferences. Once we pull up system preferences, we shall see right he down here, a software update icon. So let's just click right there. Once we click there, we will see this popping up. So from here, we can just click on update now, which is right here on the top right hand corner, or we can view more information just by clicking more info. So let's just tap on more info. This will tell us exactly how big this is. So we can see that's 2.96 gigs and a restart does require. Almost every single update for your Mac will require restart. Restart is just like turning off and on your Mac. It's no big deal. It's not gonna erase everything. So don't worry about that. You guys can see what the update does down here below. And you guys can click on these links in order to see more information about it. It's not a humongous update. It's only 2.96 gigs. So it really does depend on your internet speed how long this will take to download and then install. So for some of you, this might take 30 minutes. Others, it might take longer, again, depending on your internet speed. Just make sure not to turn off your Mac while you're doing this and that you guys have enough memory, which by the way, if your Mac's running really slow, it's most likely because you're running out of memory. So let's say you guys have a 500 or maybe 200 drive and you only have let's say five or 10 gigs left for free space, then that's a huge problem. Your Mac will run really, really slow. Anyways, before you guys do any updates, so before we hit on update now, I do recommend always making a backup using Time Machine. Time Machine is something built into your Mac that you guys can just hit up here and just back up now. This backs up your entire Mac OS, including your documents, photos, everything within your Mac, which I have a separate video showing you guys how to handle Time Machine and how to set that up with an external hard drive. Anyways, right now we're just gonna update this. I can't actually record my Mac turning off because it's just a black screen, but we're gonna see that black screen, app logo, a loading bar, and then we're just gonna have to wait. So just remember not to turn off your Mac while you're doing this. So we are just gonna click on install now, just down here in the bottom. And it's gonna require a restart. So we're just gonna click on restart. After we see the app logo, the loading bar, we're finally gonna be done after about 30 minutes for most of you. It could be faster for some of you who have SSD in your Macs. It really does depend on your hard drive inside your Mac plus your internet speed. But for most of you, it's gonna be about 30 minutes. Then you're all gonna be done. It's just gonna reboot. You're gonna see this, that your Mac is up to date and that's about it. So that's how you guys can update your Mac right now. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.